All right, what I'm gonna do is go through a little bit about how I make my turkey. First, I wanna point out that I always use parchment paper, baking paper. I believe that it makes the food taste a heck of a lot better. I don't like using foil because I feel that the foil goes into your food when you're cooking, especially in the oven, and it's been in there a little while. The juices just kind of seeps into your food and try to stay away from it. So with the parchment paper or baking paper at the store, I spray coconut oil. I like to spray coconut oil spray. Okay. So what I do is I take my, I got turkey loins. So I take my turkey loins and I just, basically it's a game of trying to get as many to fit as you possibly can. Because you know, you don't want to cook for too many hours. So I try to fit about four on a line for the turkey loins. Okay, so I have four there. Then I put four up top. It's one, two. Three, four, okay. Then on my other pan, I have two more here. I'm gonna put two. There, and then also ground turkey to mix it up. I just put a little more than a pound there. Then another. There. Okay, now what I always do is for the turkey loins, I like to cut them in half, not completely through, but just enough so that when you're cooking it, it cooks through evenly and it doesn't take forever to cook it as well and then it's dried out on the outside. So quickly I'll just cut through the middle, just a, a little gash through the middle. I'll do that on all of them. If you want to get creative, you can actually put something in between in the middle before you cook it. I don't use any cheese or anything, so I'm not going to put anything like that in there. I'm not using tomato sauce, but I could put tomato sauce or salsa in the middle. Okay, so now that I've cut okay, all of them, what I'm going to do is just, just mold the turkey. I've already washed my hands. Just, just to make it so it's evened out, so it bakes a little faster, that's all. Okay, then while the camera's staying right there, I'm just gonna wash my hands real quick. And I'm back. All right, I just don't want to get that cross contamination action going when you get the turkey on you. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to put some seasoning. The ones I used to like the most to put on, and I still do now, is dried parsley flakes. So I'm just going to sprinkle it evenly on all the turkey, get a little extra on that one. Okay. Uh, these I'm going to leave plain. Sometimes I always just want some plain. I'm also going to use organic basil, basil leaves. And I'll put that, again, sprinkle it a little bit. Another spice that sometimes I'll use, instead of black pepper or red pepper, I'll use something called paprika. It's a little sweeter red pepper flavor. Uh, they have a hot version and a sweet version, so I usually use the sweet version. And so that's it for now. The oven has already been preset to 365 degrees. So that's there. So I'm going to put the light on inside, which I did already. I'm going to put these in the oven. I choose to put the, the more meat on the top just how my oven heats because everybody's oven is different so I know it actually heats up evenly and more on the top so I'm going to put the, the ground turkey on the bottom so I'll put that in there probably for about mm, 
20 minutes, then I'll check on it, then I'll get rid of some of the liquid, extra water that comes out from it, and then I'll turn the heat down probably to about 350 for another 10 minutes, and then if it's almost all the way cooked, I'll ju actually just turn the oven off at that point and leave it in to finish cooking by itself without the oven on. And that's it. There you have it. That's how I take care of some of my turkey. Stay tuned for some more videos.